Hello everyone, welcome to Lumen. And as the website says, Lumen is a platform puzzle video game where the player assumes control of a girl trapped in a world of nightmare as she tries to make her escape. With the sole help of her camera, she will have to dodge traps, run away from her enemies, and use her photographs to change the world that surrounds her. I want to thank viewer Gravity Guy for suggesting this game to me. This game is actually completely free, so you'll find a link to where you can play it for yourself in the description. And it was also, very impressively, made by a bunch of students in three months. In three months, a bunch of students not only created the game, but they actually created the engine that it runs in. In three months. Three months, they made an entire game and an engine. And they released it for free, which is just mind-bogglingly impressive. So, I just want to say right off the bat that sort of like platformer puzzle games really aren't my usual thing. I haven't played very much of them. But I have played a couple recently, and I've actually kind of... I've actually liked them quite a bit. Despite the fact that they're really not my thing, so I'm, I'm trying to branch out and try new things, so just keep in mind... That, again, I have not played a lot of these games, they're not really my thing, but I'm trying something new. And, as usual, I like to analyze the games that I play, so I will probably be analyzing this a bit. And that's all I can think of to say. Let's get into it. New game. Adjust the brightness level. Yep, it is good. Wake up, child. You have slept enough. You will need this camera. Take it. We have a long way ahead of us, so you better head off. I have to say, that voice is rather creepy. <laughs> It sounds almost demonic. Okay, one other thing to keep in mind as well is that when I started up the game, one of their recommendations, like they said for the optimal experience, use a gamepad, and I do not have one. So I'm using mouse and keyboard, which I think for a platformer like this is... What the hell is that noise? That was weird. Um, I think for a platformer like this, using keyboard and mouse is probably not ideal. So it might not be as smooth as it normally would be, if you played with the gamepad. I think you can especially notice this in the movement. I'm just I'm using WASD here, and as you can see, it's very um. Uh, let's just say there's no real transitions between the different directions, which I suspect is just because I'm not using a gamepad. So it might look a little bit funky because of the because of that fact. Space to jump. Mm hmm. Oh god. I almost didn't make it. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the art style of this game. It's not... it's not particularly high fidelity. In any way, but... It's just a very nice, clean look. It's a sort of fantastical... world where it's not... it's not completely fantasy, but it's also not completely realistic. It's kind of like halfway in between. It's like... I don't know, it's like a dream world. Which I think is exactly what it's supposed to be, right? It looks like I'm entering some sort of a... like a... a witch's house or something with these green lights. We missed you, you know. It's been a while since we last met. Although I read you can't remember. I don't think I want to remember. Ooh, a mushroom. Can I eat it? Can I take a picture of it? Yes, I can. There we go, that's one for the scrapbook. A picture of a mushroom. Hold on, I, I need a nice macro shot of the of the wall. Let's see. There we go, perfect. I'm gonna send it to National Geographic! Yeah! Uh-oh. Platforming. Can I do it? 
Man, I don't need to wait for no platform. I'm just gonna jump down. Oh, a candle! There we go. Looks can be deceiving. Watch your step. Click the left mouse button to use the camera flash. Okay, so it temporarily, temporarily makes objects solid. I can see you know how to handle that thing. Why, thank you. I'm quite proud of myself. So, this is as hard as platformers get, right? You just, you just jump on a platform and you're done? Yeah, of course. I'm sure I have nothing to worry about, right? Seriously, I've, I've like barely ever played platformers, so... We'll see how this goes. The only thing I know about platformers is that you jump from stuff to stuff. That's, that's it. That's like my experience with platformers. Oh, that's one of those gigantic litter blocks. Oh, I see. It's all about timing. Okay, so am I pro yet or not? I feel like after five minutes of platforming, or or two minutes, however long it's been, I feel like I'm a pro now. I think I can maybe enter some tournaments, win some contests. And here's the old library, waiting for you to come back. Do you remember the Guardian? You want to be careful with him. He's not too fond of colorful pajamas. <laughs> Find a way to take him down, or he will be the one to take you down. He's not too fond of colorful pajamas. The bastard. Who isn't fond of colorful pajamas? That truly is a, a being of pure evil. That toy is blocking your way. Maybe it's time to use your camera again. Press E to take a... Wait, press E to take a picture. Haven't I been doing that with left click? Oh no, that's just a flash, isn't it? Okay, that's not taking a picture. Yeah, left click just uses the flash. Okay, so E. Oh! Okay. So what is this gonna do? Use the arrow keys to turn the picture. Oh, you mean that the arrow arrow keys? Oh yeah, the, the actual arrow keys. That's kind of awkward. I have to take my hand off the mouse and use the arrow keys, but okay. Your camera is more powerful than you thought, huh? Things are getting interesting. I am impressed with this thing. It looks ancient, but apparently it's very effective. What do you think this thing is? I'm thinking... A, ni a nice solid 5 megapixels, maybe? Maybe even 6. <laughs> Holy shit, that was loud! I, I don't even see a bird, but it, it sounded like it just screamed in my ear. What? Where did that come from? We cannot waste any more time. Oh, be quiet, narrator. It's fine. That was bizarrely loud. There's the colorful pajama hating guardian. What if I blind him? Didn't work. What if I... Oh, I can't take a picture here. Oh, can you only take pictures at designated locations, like this little... There is something we need in there. You must find a way to get through. Look at these designated little floaty particle emitter spots. Is that where you, where you can take pictures? Yeah, okay, so you have to be inside of here. Got it. Get rid of that mine. Press space repeatedly to shake the photo. Eh. <sighs> This is a very powerful camera. Apparently I can turn stuff on its side and also make roots ungrow. Any secrets over here? Secrets? Secrets? I've been greeted by a beautiful mushroom. The finest in all the land. 
Got a picture of it. Well, actually, I just used my flash. But let's just pretend I took a picture. Just pretend. It's okay, it's a dream world. We, we can pretend. Graves. Now, that is an interesting tombstone we have here. What does that say? Does that say Lumen? Yeah, Lumen. Um, wait a minute, is that is that my own tombstone? I guess I'm dead. Let's take a picture. Ah, oh, we can go up and take another picture. Oh, can we make the gigantic bear's head fall on the guardian? Try combining shake and turning actions. Okay, so we can put it on the side, and we can probably shake it off, right? That is smart. Wait, how? Oh, there we go. Promising. Maybe we will make it this time. That'll teach him for hating colorful pajamas. Although, to be honest, I'm not really sure if my pajamas are even very colorful. They're... they're bright. They're full of glowing stars, but... not... I wouldn't really call it particularly colorful. It's kind of just like a deep purple. A dark purple. I don't know, maybe the Guardian has poor eyesight. A gigantic bear's head! That one's going to National Geographic, Move too. Move on, child. Here comes the hard part. I really like the art. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm assuming this is a loading screen? Is this a loading screen? There's no bar. Is is it is it loading? The library. These walls have been the ruin of many before you. You never know what lurks around the corner. Getting here was not easy, but getting out will be much harder. Oh, a word of advice. Try not to make noise when you walk near them. Press control to tiptoe. Okay, I gotta say, I know libraries have been having a hard time because of budget cuts and all that, but I didn't know they'd gotten this bad. This is just, wow. I love the way she tiptoes. So cute. Okay, so is that book gonna try to, like, like, hit me in the face if I don't tiptoe? Let's find out. No, it's just a floating book. Totally harmless. Oh, hi. Wait, did that actually react? It, it does react! It's closing because of the, the bright light. That is so cool. What a nice little detail. Is that- Oh my god, this candle is floating off the ground by like two inches! Report bug! Must be fixed- Oh god. Okay, there's an even greater problem than the floating candle. There's no collision mesh. Take a picture. I'm sending it to National Geographic too. Look, National Geographic, there's a new phenomenon. Phenomena. Floating candles that have no collision. Wait, can, can I not open the chest? Oh man. 
Anytime I see a chest in a game, you just have to open it, but apparently I can't. I can take a picture of it, though. Okay, what do I actually need to watch out for? Apparently not the floating books. Um, I don't see any enemies. I think I'm okay here. Can I climb this ladder? No, it's all broken. If you are scared, find a place to hide. Get close to the blue candles and press E to hide. Oh. I am kind of scared. I mean, there's freaking floating books and a creepy picture of a... of it behind me. It, the happy clown. I really like what they did with the cloth physics on her pajamas. The way it billows out when you're when you're jumping. Very cool. Hmm. That stupid bird got away again. Although those fireflies seems to know where it went. I have a serious question. Has there ever been a single game where fireflies are not helpful? Let me restate that. Has there ever been a single game where fireflies are harmful? Because usually if they exist in the game at all, they're either just pretty, or they help you. Have there ever been harmful fireflies? I can't think of it. No, I, I can't think of a single instance of harmful fireflies. Has there ever been like an RPG where you have to fight a group of fireflies? Have they ever been an enemy? I don't think so. Hmm. I guess everyone loves fireflies. It's a shame fireflies was cancelled so early. It really deserved to go on. Hey, clown. Oh. Well, I'm never taking a picture of you again. That will take me up there. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Hi. Not gonna move. Not gonna move. Not gonna move. Don't give away your position. D don't press the flash. I, I know the flash button is right there, Lumen. I know the flash button is right there, but don't press it. Don't press it. Don't press it. Don't you press it! It's fine. I want to open these so bad. It looks like they're just begging to be opened. I mean, they even have locks on them and everything. But I have no keys. And apparently Lumen... isn't very good at picking locks. Is that a vase full of, like... rats with glowing red eyes? What's inside of there? Hi. <laughs> it, that is really cool. I'm actually amazed at the attention to detail in the environment. I didn't expect these things to be reactive, but they are. They go away. They go away when you take pictures of them. It's like this camera has the power to make the scary stuff go away. At least, it can banish it temporarily. Okay, so it looks like I need to avoid being pulverized or sliced. Or killed by that strange monster down there. Also, there's a bunch of creepy pictures of what looks to be the same girl on the wall with different haircuts. Which is very strange. I could probably just jump down to the fireflies. It's too high, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Are you hinting that there's some way to lower this with a lever or something? Was was that the hint? Because I can't take a picture. I 
think I can jump down and be okay. <laughs> Famous last words, I think I can jump down and be okay. Nope. So I need to tiptoe past it. Got it. Do not let them see you. Try to block their line of sight with an object. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, which way are you going? Which way are you going? Um, is it, this doesn't seem to be. What the? Oh god! It didn't work! It didn't work! Run! That didn't work either. Wait a minute, if you can't. What's the point of tiptoeing? It, it didn't seem to work. Do I, do I need to not move while staying behind here? Like, do I need to tiptoe around and make sure it doesn't see me? Quick, before they got you. Gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. There's nothing to be scared of, nothing to be scared of. It's only a gigantic floating demon thing that is going to kill me if it touches me. Nothing to be scared of. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Nope. Mm -hmm. Uh, can it see me? No, no, it can't see me. It can't see me. If I can't see it, it can't see me. That's how it works, right? Oh god. Okay, okay. Go away. Go. Why won't you go away? The other one won't go away. It's not going to go away, is it? Okay, fine. Hey, if, if you want to stay there and not move, that's fine with me. I can just sneak right past you. Run and hide. Nope, maybe not. This isn't working too well. Come on, come on. Okay, I think I just need to book it to the next hiding space. The next hiding spot. I'm gonna do that. Right now. That didn't sound good. But I'm gonna keep running. Please don't teleport right in front of me. Oh god, this is bad. Hiding spot. Where's the nearest hiding spot? <laughs> Am I gonna be back to the beginning of this place? Oh no, I'm not. Okay, good. Oh, and it's unbugged. Excellent. Good, so I can do this properly. Hopefully. Alright, so they will see... No matter... Regardless of whether you're tiptoeing or not, they will see you if they actually have a line of sight on you. So I should be okay here, right? Because it doesn't have line of sight. Okay. And they will hear you as well. Wow, this is awfully slow. I'm just gonna run. Oh, hiding spot, hiding spot. It's okay though, I don't need to hide. I'm good, I'm good. It's okay. Even are those things? It just looks like they're made of fiery tentacles almost. Also, there's a gigantic robot there and a picture of a bear. Very cute. Hello, Mr. Ro robot. That thing's adorable. Stop looking at me! I think I should go right now. Well, it actually didn't see me. Well, well. You found it. That is impressive. 
Why, thank you. What the heck? Some very strange contraption. So, so strange. Wait a minute. Let them catch you. Also, apparently, what I found was a painting of a bird. I thought I was supposed to find the bird itself, not a painting of it. Maybe I can bring it to life with my camera or something. I like how it teleported backwards. It actually teleported further away from me. Oh, it actually... it worked? Oh! It seems a new path just opened. I guess it's a unique way of having a lever, basically. Except it's not a lever, it's a painting, and I took a picture of it. Or used a flash, rather. What is this? Boom. Okay, so now I need to get all the way... Oh, God. Now I need to get all the way back. Which is not going to be fun. Or easy. Once again, you teleported backwards. You are kind of incompetent. I don't think that one got very high grades in its demon school. What is this? I guess I don't I don't do anything with it yet. Line of sight, line of sight, line of sight, line of sight. Okay. Whew. Oh yeah, I am MLG. Hello, Doctor. Okay, I've learned something today. Don't take pictures of pictures. Or rather, don't take pictures of paintings. Actually, I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be a painting or a picture. J just don't take pictures of stuff on the wall. Unless it's a cage of a bird. Cage of a bird, what the hell does that even mean? Unless it's a caged bird. <laughs> In which case, yes, do take a picture of it because it will cause a cage to come down and make a pathway for you. That is what I've learned today. What have you learned, kids? Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh god. Wait, where'd it go? I thought it was gonna teleport near to me, but it just left. I won't complain. That is perfectly acceptable. What did oh there it is. Nope. Oh god. Get get back to your patrol path. You're not allowed over here. This is off limits to demons. Did it just go out the window? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think I can follow you, Fireflies. I'm sorry. At least, not yet. Right. I just realized those feathers are absolutely massive. That must be a very large bird. Unless you want to be beaten to a pulp. I do not want to be beaten to a pulp. Oh, I'm actually stuck in this camera. Okay, so it's a unique camera for this this sequence. Got it. Okay. Nobody <laughs> said this would be easy. The like the heel of my foot got smashed, I think. Let's try that again.
Okay. Ah, another picture. What shall I take a picture of? That? Hmm, should I shake it? That's another. Let's let's turn it. Oh! Oh, is it moving me? Oh, it's moving me. I'm turning the gears. Yeah, I need to be careful. Very, very careful here. Okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And go, 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 go. Go faster! Okay. Ooh. That is a really cool mechanic. The ability to take pictures of things and shake it and turn it and, and manipulate it. Oh! Didn't time that one right. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't even, like, think ahead. I just, I just ran. Okay, so it turns out you don't even have to be hit by the blade part. You can just touch the side and you die. Nope, that's dumb. I am about to lose my patience. <laughs> You're about to lose your patience, says the narrator. Why, thank you. You should be encouraging, narrator. <clears throat> okay, so if you... Yeah, you need to... I think you just need to wait on the last spot. Just a little bit. Okay, let me let me try let me try waiting. Wait a little bit and uh, I almost had it, but I just got smashed. But I avoided the blade. There we go. There we go. Okay. Indeed, more skillful than I thought. <laughs> Why? Thank you. It only took me about a dozen deaths to do it. I'm proud of myself. I thought it would take me at least 32. Eh, that wasn't too hard. Your camera is not enough to reveal everything this library hides. You will need to find a brighter sword of light. Okay, so I need to let in some light by shaking the boards off, right? Or drawing the curtains, or, I mean, pulling the curtains back. Hmm. Is that it? Oh, there we go. I underestimate you. Very few have made it this far. And it looks like we have a musical puzzle. Okay, can I just drop down? I'm assuming I can. Yes. Go back to sleep. No one likes you. Are you gonna come back to life? No, good, you're dead. Okay. Two, three, four, five, four, three, four, one, two. I believe, from what I've seen in the controls, I think you control this with keys one through eight, so those probably correspond to the keys that you need to press. Let's try this. Press E to play the organ. Let the music begin. <laughs> Can I press two at one time? You can. Uh, 
That sounds horrible. That that sounds totally horrible. That also sounds hideous. I can't play anything. Ugh. Ugh. But let me improvise a little bit. That sounded terrible. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop improvising. <laughs> I think it's it's playing like a, a me you messed up the, the puzzle sort of sound when you press the wrong order. So that's kind of messing up my ability to improvise. But the main reason that sounded terrible is just because I suck. Okay. Um two three four five three one two. Two three four five So from two to five two, I better oh god that's loud. I'm gonna write that down because I have a terrible memory and I will probably forget it. Okay, got it. Okay. Yes! Magnificent! You made it! <laughs> After all this time, someone has finally made it through. Am I really the first one to make it through? I mean, no offense, but if whoever came before me was unable to decipher this mysterious puzzle that literally tells you exactly what to press, then I'm kind of worried for the rest of humanity. Can I keep playing? Oh, you can! Oh, and it doesn't have the mess up sound anymore. Okay, I'm gonna improvise something. Let's see, let's get a good chord. That sounds good. That sounds good. Hmm. That, that sounded terrible. Okay, just a little bit more. That sounded kind of okay. I'm just gonna leave it there. We almost have it done. I love the art. Once again, the art in these loading screens just looks so good. And of course, in the rest of the game, it looks very good too, but especially these loading screens, just gorgeous. And so, we finally made I can't believe someone has finally made it! You have no idea how long I have been locked here. Come closer, and I'll take you back home. Oh, but before you go, I need you to do one last thing for me. Then, You'll be free to leave. I promise. As you can see, I am trapped. And I need your powers to break free. Now, use your camera and free me! Okay, remember when I said it, you kind of sounded like a demon? It turns out I was spot on because you are a demon! Do I Come on! Free me! Do I actually have to? Because I really don't want to. I, I I don't want to. Free me from these chains! No. I refuse. Hurry up! Okay, fine. Mm. Come on! Free me! I guess I have to. <laughs> Foolish child! Did you really think I would let you escape? Oh no, that's the end? 
Oh, I let the demon out, and then it went to eat my face. <laughs> Damn. I thought that was going to be like a boss fight. Some sort of boss puzzle platforming fight, but I guess not. Oh well. Well, let's analyze it a bit. That was... Oh, there's actually motion capture. They actually did motion capture for it. That's really cool. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making the game. That was very cool. I'm assuming it goes back to the menu now, or is there some extra special thing? Oh. Free at last. Oh my god, that's creepy. <laughs> hmm, did the background change? Because now it looks like it's at the the end. Is there, is it wonder if there's some sort of a bonus thing? How does this work? Scenes. The decision. It says the decision, but I don't think I actually had a choice. I'm not sure. Hmm. Anyway, it seems like it's the end of the game. Alright, so yeah, let's analyze it a bit. I really enjoyed it. Again, the art is very good. It's not the highest fidelity by any means, but the art style is just really solid and really good looking. The music is good. Um, the sound effects are pretty good. Nothing amazing, but yeah, they're pretty good. I'm impressed with how reactive the world is. The fact that you can, the fact that you can take pictures of like the eyes and those weird the gigantic eyes on the walls and also those little red eyes that look like maybe rats or or something like that and they kind of disappear for a little bit they're actually reacting to the light they're like recoiling from it that's a level of reactivity to the world i just didn't expect it's just a it's just a solid game despite really not despite platformer uh, platforming puzzle games not really being my thing i actually still enjoyed it even the platforming elements, even though they're very simple, of course. I mean, it's it's a very short game. There's really not a lot of time to get in-depth with it. But but despite that, I actually enjoyed the puzzles, not just everything else. You know, sometimes if you don't like the basic gameplay of a type of game, like if I didn't like platforming whatsoever, you can still appreciate it for the other stuff, but um, that wasn't... That wasn't even necessary, because I actually enjoyed the platforming itself, as well as the other stuff. Which is surprising. Once again, I'm surprising myself with how much I kind of like platforming. At least when there's a heavy layer of, of story and atmosphere, as there is here. It's just an interesting little trip into some sort of strange, nightmarish dreamscape. And I think the, the gameplay mechanic of being able to take photos of things and use your flash to manipulate the world is really interesting. I'm not sure if they were going for... I'm not sure if they were going for some sort of, like... Metaphorical sort of thing where when you use the flash it makes your fears go away. Or not. I suspect they weren't because of the fact that if you take... If you use your flash on, say, the painting of the clown, it turns incredibly scary, which seems like it's the opposite of making your fears go away. <laughs> if anything, is making your fears come true. But then again, there is that sort of light revealing the answer sort of thing kind of going on, especially when you tear open the, the curtains. So, I'm not really sure. Don't know. Yeah, I mean, of course you can't really get too in-depth with this because it was only about 40 minutes. It's, it's a very short game. There's only so much you can do in such a short amount of time, but I really enjoyed it. I'm impressed. The fact that a bunch of students not only made a game in, I believe it was three months, but also coded the entire engine behind it is unbelievably impressive. Even if they just made a game and just made it in, say, Unity, for example, that would be very impressive. But the fact that they made the engine itself is just going above and beyond what I would expect anyone to do. That is, that is incredible. I can't even fathom how difficult it would be to make your entire, uh, an, to make an entire 3D engine to power a game. That is damn impressive. So kudos 
to the developers for what they've done here. I am impressed. All right, that's all I can think of to say. So, I hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough of Lumen, and I look forward to seeing what the developers do next. <laughs>